Hey, 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 how's it going, my nieces and nephews? Your old neighborhood fun uncle Richard Kilpatrick here, and today it's a buyer's market, guys. It happened. It finally happened. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The dip is finally in, guys. Buy them if you got them. Daily cost average is the strategy that pays. Come on, y'all. I mean, look at this. Look at how low we are. How low can you go? We're going to get on low. We're going to go to the flow. Yo, oh my gosh. And the real reason I'm making this video here is just this Wyckoff distribution schematic here is playing out. Look at these dip sets we've got coming in here. See, bop, shwibbity do, uh, dank arrays. Okay, we got doink, boink, schloink, forgiveness, forgiveness, soink, right? And here, the spring test here in the phase C is, is, is actively happening right there. Bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle, Jan Durant, call the freaking cops. Today's the day. It happened. It happened today. Right there. We're retesting the bottom. I mean, it's just smooth as butter, clean as air. Look at that. Oof. Okay. So, we can see these lines here matching up. You, and you could argue that that more dips are to come. You could you could say hypothetically that this area here is where we currently are with Bitcoin, and and, and an additional test all the way down to thirty thousand is required to fully close this thing out. But I'll be gosh darned if this isn't a template for where cryptocurrencies are heading. This is all an accumulation phase, right? All the whales are acquiring as, as much Bitcoin as they can because we are going to test new all-time highs in the fall and winter of this year. Uh, I think specifically the catalyst for this, this springboard move here is going to be when Ethereum finally launches the uh, EIP-1559, I believe it was what that, what that sugar-coated magic is called. Let me call it EIP... Doink doink vision yeah 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 yeah. so this is launching in july and so we can uh hypothesize that um we're gonna see some more sideways maybe even downward trading manipulation of course to try to shake out as many weak hands as possible all the way through the month of june and then bam Bam! When you least expect it, they're gonna pull the carpet right, right out from 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 your, your underneath your feet, and uh, the 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 whole you know grander hypothesis that I've been realizing about the crypto markets right now is everyone went into this market thinking to themselves, it's gonna be like last time, you know. We all went into this thinking to ourselves. The template has already been set. The pattern is already written in stone. It's going to be just like it was in 2017. No dips all the way through the year. But, of course, the massive whale manipulators, right, they know what the sheep are thinking, right? They know the plan that the sheep have uh, in store. And so they will pull the rug when you least expect it in order to shake as many loose hands as they possibly can. And they've done that here. And we can see, and thank God, goodness for old man Wyckoff right here in his distribution charts because he can show us, uh, you know, we can just match this pattern up perfectly with what Bitcoin is doing. And we can see clear as mud, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that that uh, whenever you have large multi-million, multi-billionaire manipulators trying to force the market, these patterns uh, occur. And, and, and goodness gracious, I wish I knew wh what year these are from. These are, these are an old set of charts from um, from what I've learned uh, briefly just studying these. And these actually, I, I'm just a guy who echoes what I hear. You know, information comes into my ears and then I regurgitate it back out to you guys. And specifically where I'm getting this information is from a wonderful, wonderful gentleman named Crypto Anupt. And I'm going to pull him up right here on my main page here. Crypto Anupt is the guy who I, I'm just hearing what he says, adding my own spin to it, and regurgitating it back to you guys. So if you have a chance, go to YouTube, listen to what this man has to say. He's the one who's pointing me towards these charts right here and is giving me these awesome nuggets of information. 
Uh, so this is the source, you know. I'm just the messenger. If you guys want to go straight to the valve, right as it's coming hot off the press, this is where I'm getting most of my news. Secondarily, I get uh, Benjamin Cohen is the next guy who is crushing it. He's absolutely crushing it. He churns out more content than anybody else. Look, like just, just in the last 24 hours, he's released three videos. You know, so he's giving you stuff hot off the press. Sometimes he's, he's even going live just like I am. So check this guy out. And, uh, yeah, Al-Qaeda. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, his name's Crypto Anupt. Don't be racist. All right. Anyways, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm derailing completely. I just want to make this short and sweet video for you guys. Uh, just so you know that manipulators are, are pushing this market down because good things are coming. Awesome things are on the horizon. These patterns here... Uh, are just giving you a kind of a comfort blanket to know that we're just we're, we're just testing the bottoms. We're seeing where resistance levels are. We're shaking out the weak hands, and I'll be gosh darned if we aren't going to retest new all-time highs, even go to that theoretical $100,000 limit at the end of this year. I think this shakeout that occurred here has completely eliminated the two hundred thousand and three hundred thousand dollar fantasies that people had about the end of this year. I think those no are are, are not mathematically possible at this point. Uh, I think seventy thousand, a hundred thousand is the real like. Uh, <sighs> you know what's going to happen is everyone's going to say hundred one hundred thousand one hundred thousand, and it's really going to hit ninety nine point nine, and then. Because <laughs> everyone's like waiting for it to hit it, and so whenever you're, when everyone's waiting for something to happen, it most definitely is not going to happen. Uh, so uh, I think the same is this, with these three hundred thousand, five hundred thousand dollar figures. That's not going to happen this year. Maybe in the next happening in uh, 2024, I think is when that's happening. So potentially, we'll see that uh, in the future. I'm just here to keep everyone hopeful that not all is lost. The sky is not falling. If anything, this is a buyer's market. So I want you guys to check out Big Mom and Papa, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and then Polygon is the other player that I've got on my horizon right now. This is a DeFi coin that has made some serious moves. that has got uh, some serious players in the market shilling the F out of this coin. And so if you are a person who dabbles in all coins, I, you definitely, absolutely got to stock up on some Polygon. After that, I then go with ADA. And uh, you know what? I've got these... The, the, these are these are my main coins right here. So we got Matic Polygon, right? Is the one I'm talking about specifically. Already doing a spring, dead cat bounce, of course. And then we've got Shiba Coin and Doge Coin. And the only reason I'm really watching these coins is because you have so many people on social media, TikTokers, Instagram, Telegram, you name it, Graham, just shilling the F out of these two coins. And so I've, I've now come to the realization when playing 3D chess with these cryptocurrency markets that you could have the best fundamentals in the world. You could honestly have the best leadership ever. But if you don't have people shilling your coin on TikTok 24-7, 365, then you're already playing at a disadvantage. And these two coins have absolutely no leadership, have absolutely no fundamentals. I do not believe in them long term, but I'll be giggity riggedly legally gosh danged if they don't have people shilling them, pushing them. They've got an army behind them. And their coin that I've got on my watch list right now, Shiba, I think, has the most growth potential than Doge does. Doge has been pretty played out. That's an old rag that's been shaken and dusted out and uh, is, 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 probably, is probably ready to be pushed out to sea. Whereas Shiba is the new hotness. You can still get like a billion of these for nothing. You know, you could throw $1,000 and get 100 million of these coins. And so I think that's kind of cool. I think that's a, a, and that's a reason why people like picking these coins up is because they can, you know say they have a billion of something and uh which is not a bad strategy if you just want to like pick up a million dollars of each one of these low tier coins like the coins that are on the uh, really low market cap into things where you still can you know these fraction of a cent coins that are all the way down to the bottom of the list here that you know really you want to go to ones that barely have a million dollar market cap see these ones right here that have absolutely 
none, <laughs> a not even registerable amount. But yeah, this one, very low market cap. You could throw $1,000 at this and be a serious player in the MDT space. Uh, but this is not financial advice. I'm just a fun uncle blowing hot air into a camera. And if you accidentally hear what I say and it suggests you in any certain way financially, that's a mistake that you've made. And uh, I feel really bad for you that you'd let a guy in a Hawaiian shirt like this <laughs> tell you what to do with your money. <laughs> oh, oh, but it's a buyer's market right now. So make sure to get out there. Buy, 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 buy. Have your daily cost averaging triple and quadruple down because these prices are insane. So thanks for stopping by. I'm your neighborhood fun uncle, Richard Kilpatrick. I want you to go out of your way to be fun, say something fun, do something fun, uh, shake the tree and be different. You know what I'm saying, guys? All right, peace out, homies.